Preactor 12 represents the most significant release of Preactor to date. It includes a host of new features, some of which I'll take you through today. Let's start by looking at the improved schedule speed in the latest release. We've made a host of performance improvements across the board in Preactor, such that initialization of modules is faster, the importing of data is faster, and scheduling, especially with large data sets, can be significantly faster. You'll see evidence of these performance improvements throughout Preactor, including new features such as consolidated calendar periods within the sequencer. Consolidating calendar periods significantly reduces the number of events processed in event-based scheduling rules. As well as improving raw scheduling performance, we've done a lot of work around improving the user experience in Preactor 2. For example, rendering in Preactor is up to 100 times faster despite improvements in the overall appearance. We've also improved the user experience by providing such features as scroll to zoom, which allows you to scroll in the time axis and also the vertical axis. We've introduced panning so that the user can pan through the overview window. And we've also introduced these accent bars for late operations Another enhancement in Preactor 12 is the all-new Import-Export wizard. Let's take a look at that now. When defining an import script in Preactor, you're presented with a wizard as before. Simply follow the steps, enter the information as required, and select the file you wish to import. The wizard will prompt you to map fields the first time you open a file. Any additional fields that need mapping can simply be dragged from one side of the wizard and dropped onto the next. For example, here I can map part number to part no. Also new in Preactor 12, we have enhanced user security. Drop into Manage Security Settings and you can enable basic authentication, Windows authentication or both. You can define logins for your users and roles for them too. If I create a user called Administrator, give that user a password and when I define my roles I can add that user to a role and assign the workflows within Preactor that that user is permitted to use. As this user is an administrator we'll sign all of the workflows within the configuration. From now on, when I start Preactor, I'll be presented with this login screen. I simply enter my username, my password, and there you go. We have a new product with this release of Preactor called Preactor 400 GMPS. Preactor 400 GMPS is a new product available with Preactor version 12, which complements the FCS and APS products currently available. It's an essential tool for companies who want to enhance competitiveness, increase profits, and improve their customer experience, and helps them plan their forecast demand against their upcoming capacity. For more information on GMPS, visit the website at preactor.com. We've also added dockable windows within the sequencer, full Unicode support throughout the product, and support for SQL Server 2008 R2 reporting services. Another enhancement is that I can now save my calendar changes with my data set. Under Tools Options, you'll see this new option under Calendars, Save Calendars with Data Set. This means when I make calendar changes and save my data set, my calendar changes persist only with that data set. Here I'm loading Schedule, which includes the off-shift period and here, I'm loading with calendar changes, which doesn't. We're really excited about this release of Preactor, and we hope that it improves your experience as a user. For more information on Preactor 12, visit our website at preactor.com.